What up YouTube, Bow Ball here with a brand new video view, and this is my first time reviewing a G.I. Joe action figure. Now, this video view was requested by War Machine Ven Vengeance. Uh, he requested this video view, and he also said my custom Doc Gog was still the boss. So, thumbs up to him. Now, Snake Eyes is my favorite G.I. Joe, and this is the Renegades version. He's also the only G.I. Joe I will buy, so it's not like I'm not a big fan of G.I. Joe, I am. I just only like Snake Eyes. With that said, let's cover the packaging really quick. Uh, we have a very nice picture of Snake Eyes from the show, along with Watch It on the Hub, uh, G.I. Joe Renegades. On the back, we feature a very nice picture of Snake Eyes. Uh, not the toy, but the actual cartoon. Uh, collect them all. 30 years. That's right. 30 years. And the bio will be down there. <clears throat> Snake Eyes is a mysterious ninja who helps Scarlet and the others renegades. He's never spoken or shown his face, but he does reveal himself to be an extremely powerful ninja. He was trained by the Arkskin... Okay, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, but it's A-R-A-S-H-I-K-A-G-E. <clears throat> ninja Clan, the same clan that trained his sworn enemy Storm Shadow, the Cobra Ninja Mercenary. Uh-huh. He's, it's also worth mentioning that he is the, um, the ninja commander, and, uh, yeah, he got his specs here, which I actually like how you can, it shows that you can cut this out and kind of use it as, like, an ID badge or something. It's kind of cool. Oh, by the way, his name is classified. Anyway, so we're about to take a look at the world's greatest ninja. I'm going to get him off his display stand. And I'm going to take away the accessories real quick and get into the figure's detailing. The detailing is okay. Um, I honestly think it's a little weak. Um, one thing I want to point out with this is the paint is off. Uh, here's the color in the show. Uh, it's, it's a lot lighter on the toy, unfortunately. Um... And then, it his visor doesn't have that point to it in the show. If you look closely, you can see it has that point. I don't like how it doesn't have that. I wish it had it, because that would have made the figure way more accurate. Um, this strap is actually supposed to be black. Uh, he's supposed to have two swords. He only comes with the one and one small. Like, here's the sword. This is the small of sword so that's off um this backpack is too big um the knee pads knee pads are accurate to the show uh, you can see but unfortunately they're colored wrong um same thing with the silver on his boots it's just not the correct color uh it's definitely off on the detailing unfortunately and the color that's one thing I have to knock against the figure, but still a good figure. Um, his articulation is by far amazing. Okay, let me take the camera back. Uh, this figure has a amazing amount of articulation. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, so it will uh, look up a little bit and to the side. Because uh, of the sculpt, it doesn't look up or down, unfortunately. The arms can swivel, and they do go out. He does have an elbow and a rotation. Now, this is actually pretty cool. He has a swivel joint here, and he bends inward at the elbow. So that's really nice. Now, the other hand is exactly the same except for one little piece of articulation. The arm rotates, but it bends outward. So you can see that the hands bend at different angles. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, ball joint torso, ball joint is in the hips, uh, double jointed knees, uh, it rotates and has a bend, which is actually a very nice tilt to it, by the way, it's a tilt and a rotation. So very nice on the articulation, this figure uh, excels in the articulation. Um, detailing, it, it, it sucks, it, it just sucks in the detailing. But articulation, it's just amazing. It has definitely some of the best articulation I've ever seen on a figure. So I'm just going to put him on the stand. The stand is uh, just 
G.I. Joe's, two pegs, and it does say Snake Eyes, so that's very nice. That does identify that this is Snake Eyes. You know what, I'm just gonna put them right there. His accessory count is pretty nice. Uh, G.I. Joe's have always been famous for coming with a lot of accessories. Um, he does come with a gun. I don't remember him actually using a gun in the show, but I could be wrong. I think he did. I don't remember him having his own gun. He comes with two ninja stars. Uh, there you go. The ninja star has the ability to split open in the show. So it goes from this to this. There you go. Very nice. He comes with, unfortunately, one sword when he has two in the show. This is his sword. And he comes with a smaller version of the sword. Now, one thing I really like about this figure is that all of his weapons can store on him. Uh, by the way, this is just a peg for the backpack. It can be removable. Uh, this, unfortunately, does not. This piece. Now, you can store the swords on this little back piece instead of in the backpack, which is really weird. But, okay. I'm just gonna put him here. You can see. Um, the gun stores right here. Uh, you could probably put one of the daggers in there, I guess. And then these fit in here, in his backpack. Uh -huh. Well, kind of. I mean, there's really not much room for both of them. So, you kind of has to be holding one. Oh, man, I'm mistaken. You can fit all of them. There you go. The biggest problem I have with the weapons is that they're just this dull plastic. Uh, they are a little bendable, but if you bend them too much, it's going to break. It's not that really flexible. It is flexible, but not super flexible plastic. Um, I wish they had some silver paint on here, because that really would have made the swords shine. And I actually might paint these. I might paint these silver and put the uh, silver on the blades just to make it shine. Um, more of a sword, because I really don't like how they're not painted. He can hold all of his weapons. I personally do not have him with the uh, gun, but he can hold the gun very well. I personally don't display him with the gun, because I don't think he needs a gun. The Ninja Stars will hold in each hand. There you go. And the sword, well, the short sword, uh, I forgive me if I don't uh, forgive me, because I don't know the name of this uh, da this dagger-like weapon. Um, it has an official name. Like, this is a katana blade. These are form of throwing knives that are um, that the Japan developed. I don't know why they made it in this shape. Perhaps it helps with more aerodynamics. Uh, this is just it opened up. This is a gun. I forget the name of this weapon in Japan. It has a specific name. Uh, but I don't remember it. Now, uh, this hand is tighter when it comes to holding the blades. So I generally put my bl the blade well, in here. So you can kind of have them point at it like, I'm going to chop you. Bruh. Yeah. All around, it's an okay figure. I mean... It definitely is a good figure, because it has great articulation, and if that's what you look in a figure, then by god, this is your figure. He comes with a ton of articulation. But if you're looking at a figure for accuracy, which is what a, a lot of people tend to look for in a figure, this just isn't your figure. He is just not good. I mean, he has very little accuracy to the show. Uh, the paint is off. Um... The accessories are not painted, which is really unfortunate, because I really would have liked to, seen, to um, see them get some paint. But, he's still a great figure, and I recommend him to anyone who likes good articulation out of a figure. Play-wise, he's perfect. I mean, he's just great when it comes to having him for a toy on your desk to just mess around with. He's definitely the guy uh, to put on your desk and just play with. But, if you're one to put on a shelf and, you know, just have a guy who looks like what he does in the show, he's not the one to go with. But I still recommend him. So if you're a Snake Eyes fan, uh, or just a G.I. Joe fan, then totally get him. He's worth it. I recommend picking him up for 
about uh, 15 bucks. If you can find it 15 bucks on eBay or uh, under 10 bucks in the uh, stores, because he is still available in stores. You can just run to your Walmart, pick him up right now for like six bucks. Totally worth it. Go pay, if you go over 15 and pay more, then I really do feel like you got screwed because it's the articulation that's great, but not the detail, which is what a lot of people look for in a toy. Uh, so yeah, that's it for my review of the G.I. Joe Renegade Snake Eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope I helped you guys decide if you should get this figure. Now, if you do have it, or you have a friend that have it and you mess with it, let me know what you think in the comment section. I think it's a good figure, uh, it's not good in accuracy. So I guess I'll see you guys later with my another review. Till then, adios.